Hi, um, so today for math we're working on um, chapter 7, lesson 8. And we're going to be doing some hands-on solving of the problems using some manipulatives um, that are just found around the house, okay? And you can do the same as well. Um, now we learned in yesterday's lesson about the order of operations, so you have to remember that you always do what's in the parentheses first, then you do multiplication and division, in order from left to right, and then addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Okay, so you're, you're going to have to remember those rules. All right, so we're going to look at this. It says sometimes an equation has more than one operation, okay? And we're going to look at this equation right here and solve it. So we have, it says model the equation n times 3 plus 5 equals y. And they have you making like a little machine. They're having you make an equation machine. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But I'm first going to, I'm going to write the equation right here. So remember it, it's n times 3, and that's in parentheses right there, plus 5 equals y. Now, they use little different gadgets to do it. They use paper plates and all that kind of stuff. And you absolutely can do that if you want to. And you can look at the example in the book. I really just find that um, making a table really truly is the best way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my table here. Okay. I don't want to confuse you. So... Um, when you're looking at this table, and this could be n, and this will be y, okay? Now, they've told us here, if you're looking at it, it says, suppose n equals 1. You're going to place one counter on the plate, but we're not doing that. So, you're just going to go you're going to plug it right into the equation. So, if n was 1, you're going to put the 1 here, okay? And then you're going to solve the problem. And we always do what is in the parentheses first. You're just going to simply put it in here. So it's going to go 1 times 3. We're just putting the 1 for n plus 5 equals y, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 5 equals 8. So y is 8. There you go. Okay. Now, what if they give us a... We'll just do another number. And we'll do the same thing. Let's say n is worth 2. What if n is worth 2? We're going to rewrite the equation again. It's still the same equation. n times 3 plus 5 equals y. So now we're going to put the 2 as the n. So it's going to go... 2 times 3 plus 5 equals y because it, the equation, once again, was n times 3 plus 5 equals y. And we put this 2 here for the n. Put that here. So I'm going to solve the equation. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 equals 11. So then y is 11. And you would just keep doing this um, with different numbers, okay? So they showed us here, all right? We did we did this this first one. So um, the first one was the one, and we put it in, and we realized that y equaled eight. Now they wanted us to do the two. Well, we already did it. We solved the problem. We plugged the numbers in. And we got 11. So n equals 2, y was 11. And you would just continue doing this with all, they've given you all these numbers. So let's just go ahead and do one more. So I'm going to plug that 3 into the number. So it's going to be 3, because there's a 3 right here, times 3, because it's n times 3 plus 5 equals y, plus 5 equals y. Well, 3 times 3 is, because we always do that first, 9, and we have 9 
plus 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. So y is 14, and you just keep doing it. 4 times 3, okay? 4 times 3 is, you could even just write it here if you wanted, 4 times 3 plus 5 equals what? 12 plus 5 equals 17. Same thing here. 5 times 3, because we're still doing the same equation, plus 5 equals what? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 5 equals 20. All right. And we recorded all of them right there. Let's look at number 1. Use algebra. Refer to the equation. So it's the same equation. What is the value of y when n equals 6, n equals 7? You would be doing the same thing, okay? So 6 times 3, I'm putting this 6 into the equation, plus 5 equals y. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 5. 18 plus 5 is 23, all right? And then you can do that with the 7. I'm going to go, same equation. 7 times 3 plus 5 equals y. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 5 equals 26. So the answer would be 20, 23 and 26. Okay? And um, you would do the same thing here. This is a um, different equation. n plus 7 times 3 equals y. Find the value of y. And n equals 3, so we're going to put a 3 in here. So it's going to be 3 plus 7 times 3 equals y. Well, we do, remember, even though this is multiplication, you always do what's in the parentheses first. Okay, so this is 10 times 3 equals y. And 10 times 3 is 30, so y equals 30.